The Battle of Normandy was one of the most epic, devastating, and tragic events of World War II. It was fought in 1944 with no holds barred, and it lasted for an entire summer. Soldiers, civilians, and even military strategists still look back at this battle with awe, respect, and a sense of horror for the sheer scale of the battle and the brutality of the fight. Historians often argue that the Battle of Normandy was the most significant battle in Western Europe during World War II because it marked the start of the end for the Axis powers in Europe. Normandy was a beachhead on the northern coast of France that aimed to provide the Allies with a secure foothold for an invasion of Germany. The Allies' general strategy was to create a two-front war. Attacking Germany from both the east and west the Normandy invasion was the first step toward this goal. The battle started on June 6, 1944, with an amphibious invasion of Normandy by U.S. British and Canadian troops. The operation was codenamed Operation Overlord and was one of the largest and most complex amphibious invasions in history. The beachhead was divided into five sectors, codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword. The American 4th Infantry Division landed at Utah Beach with relatively little resistance from the Germans. However, the U.S. 1st Infantry Division at Omaha Beach met with stiff opposition. The terrain was not ideal for landing craft and the Germans had heavily fortified the beach with machine gun nests, pillboxes, and barbed wire. The British landed at Gold, while the Canadians landed at Juneau. These two beaches had fewer defenses than Omaha Beach and were the first to be secured by the Allies. The British capture of Wiestrom helped secure the eastern flank of the landing zone. The British 6th Airborne Division was dropped behind enemy lines to secure bridges on the eastern flank. By the end of D-Day, the Americans and British held their respective beachheads, but gains were limited elsewhere. It was going to be an unrelenting and bloody grind. Contrary to popular beliefs, the battle was not won on D-Day but stretched out in a brutal complex and costly six-week stalemate between heavily fortified troops. The Allied beachhead was secure, but the Germans fought hard to push them back into the sea. The battle turned into a typical attritional battle. The Allies had to bring more and more troops and supplies ashore to build up a potent combat force. The Germans fought with the ferocity that had helped them to conquer most of Europe. They brought their best generals, like Rommel, to lead the defense and hampered the Allies with their cunning strategies. The Allies broke through the German defenses at St. Lo in late July. And Operation Cobra began. The Allied invasion of German-occupied France. A massive bombing campaign, followed by a push from four armored divisions and three infantry divisions. Finally broke the German lines. The U.S. Third Army, led by General George S. Patton, poured through the gap and advanced deep into France. Overall, the casualties were catastrophic. The Americans suffered around 72,000 casualties and the British lost around 22,000 men. The Germans suffered an estimated 200,000 casualties overall, of which as many as 60,000 were fatalities. The Battle of Normandy was the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. The battle helped to open up a second front in Europe and allowed for the Allied operations for the East Germany's resources, particularly on the Eastern Front, were stretched, and the invasion of Normandy accelerated the end of the war. In conclusion, the Battle of Normandy was certainly one of the most epic and brutal battles of World War II. It still represents the incredible sacrifice made by men and women to secure their freedom and defeat fascism. The bottle's incredible levels of casualties and brutality should be remembered for generations to come, as a reminder of the destructive nature of war and the importance of freedom.
It was a victory that came at a terrible cost but was ultimately worth it.